We have got um, the cast of When Duty Calls 2. That's right. We've got them on Facebook Live right yes. now. If you head on to our Facebook page at 987FM, we've got Edwin as well as Pierre Pung on the line over here with us. They are, of course, from When Duty Calls 2. And it's actually going to be um, showing at 9 p.m. on Channel 8 tonight. Okay. Okay, Pierre, as well as Edwin, you want to introduce yourselves and your characters first? Pierre, you go first. Edwin, ladies first. Oh, I mean, oh, no, oh, sorry. Oh, I mean, Edwin, oh, oh, uh, after you. Come on, Pierre. I gotta respect the elderly. You have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shots la, fired. Okay, la, okay, la. okay, Pierre, Pierre, go first. Okay, okay. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I play Daniel Tan Kim Po. I come from a wealthy family. Uh, and if you watch season one, uh, the character is uh, playful. Uh, happy-go-lucky character. In season two, you will see the character grow from uh, being um, a playful, mischievous kid to uh, to a owner of a, of a bar. Wow. And, um, and he gets married to his uh, childhood uh, love. Wow. And they decide to uh, try to start a family together. Oh, Very wow. nice. Hey, got a bar and everything. Sounds like you in real life. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. And Edwin, uh, this is you, you weren't in the first installation, so you're new yep, to, to this show. Tell us about your role. Yeah. Well, my role, um, his name is Guan Yan. He is very strong willed and a uh, responsible person because his dad like lost his job and his mom like passed away. So he has to take on the family, like the role of taking care of his siblings. Mm-hmm. And um but his EQ is kind of low, so it gets him into all sorts of trouble with his oh. camp mates in the army. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So and not very really quiet boy. Just, la. I mean, I'm quiet, but like followed by the book too much that like, oh. you know, I, but I became like the Sabo King in the show. I yeah. see, I see. So very see, nice. I think the script writers are really running out of things to write about because it's really real, uh, mimicking real life, you know? <laughs> Of the actors, oh uh. my yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, people like you that. Just, and you, NS, you yeah, know. you just described yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so Maya has never yeah. been to the army before, right? So no. she's got a few questions. She asked me just now. I was like, I have no idea how to answer yeah, you. So guys, she was asking. So obviously, I've never been to the army. So, like, what are some tips? Like, let's say I want more food. Like, can I ask them? Can I have more food <laughs> at the cookhouse? At the cookhouse, <laughs> can I be like, Yo, can you give me more portions? Do something like, please, sir. Right. Yeah. Oh. And uh, and they will say no, Oliver Twist. It's not your show. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Okay. Okay. And and all seriousness, I think if you ask for some more food, uh, the army uh, nowadays uh, they are a lot more civil. Uh, my time, yeah, they will give you. Uh, to you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My time, uh, I would ask, and uh, they will probably. Uh, tell me go fly a kind. <laughs> what oh, about really? like I see all these like different colors of uniforms, right? So can I choose which color uniform I this want? This is not a fashion show, Maya. <laughs> it's the a Power army. Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, I, I guess I won't survive. I, I don't think. Okay, so so for different um um uniform colors, okay. they would be for different yeah. vocations. Right. Oh, so I have to work my way. No, oh, like no, the, no. Like no. the navy would have their own color. Like the Air Force who has their own color and that's right. So on, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Ta- ta- talking about talking about you know like vocation and everything, guys. Um, because we we found out that we have to interview you guys from when duty calls too, right? Yeah. I'm in my army PT attire. If you're on Facebook Live, Ooh. you can see us. You can see me in my my. It shorts says Air well. Force. Oh, you're wearing your nice. army shorts as well. Shorts. Okay, okay. Put your leg down, please, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to see that. <laughs> okay, the show, of course, tonight it starts uh, at 9 o'clock. Um, we're going to come back after this short little break and we're going to have you guys, you know, tell us why is part two of When Duty Calls, you know, a must watch. Ooh. Okay, stand by, Ooh, of course. Okay. And we go as well as Pierre Pung. It's up next. Stand by. Here's Mabel and Lil Tekka. Let love go right here in 987. Every day and every night. We're still live on Facebook Live right now. That's right. Um, if you've got any questions, you can leave them, you know, in the comments below. Wei Chen Liang says, Hi, Edwin. Hi, Daniel. Daniel? No, not his name is. His Hi, name Wei is Chen. Daniel. 
Hi, Gerald and Maya Edwin. I am Daniel. Hi, Gerald. I am Daniel. <laughs> right. And hi, Gerald and Maya from Jermaine Go. Fini, Edwin is so cute. Fini La says Edwin's so cute. Aww. Jermaine, Aww. Jermaine Go Aww. says uh, hi, Gerald Maya. Hello. Hi. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go deep dive into uh, the show right here on Facebook Live, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So so is is there a reason why there is part two? Is it because everybody loves part one? I mean, that's that's an obvious answer, right? But but uh, Pierre, let me ask you this question. Yeah. That is, you know, when you were told that we're going to go in for part two, what was your reaction like? Oh, I was uh, very skeptical. I mean, as in with every show, be it in the movies or in any TV series, when you decide to make a sequel to something, there's always this pressure and this uh, need to do better than the first, right? Mm. So, um, well, uh, to to add on to that, uh, in the first season, my character was really coming to the tail end of his national service. Mm. Uh, In fact, he has already served a few cycles of his reservist. Uh, Maya, just to let you know, reservist is what you serve <laughs> after you've done your full-time uh, right. national service. Right, thank mm. you for that. <laughs> yeah. So um, where does the character go from there? So we were actually contemplating having uh, maybe the characters play different uh, different characters in the, in the new season, you know? But then they decided uh, the, the characters would come back and like I mentioned, the character was actually coming to the tail end of his reservist uh, service. So where does that leave uh, the character? How is he going to be linked back to the army? But yeah, the, the script writers managed to write something interesting. And uh, we decided to do a lot of flashbacks right. for right. my character. Mm-mm. Right. And, and and for Edwin, you, you since you're new to this, you know, um were were the other cast members who are, did they welcome you with open arms or were, were you like a <laughs> How does it feel? Um, yeah, how does it feel to actually been, like bullying me? Yeah. <laughs> he has been bullying me and um, I try to like avoid him on set. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean I think in this season <laughs> in this season we focus a lot more on um the army deployment force. So it's mm. this unit where they respond to like uh, humanitarian aid for other countries right. oh, wow. and like right. counter-terrorism kind of thing. So I think it, mm. there will be a slight difference mm. from the uh, season one. But yeah, like mm. you said, like season one was such a hit and such a success and like they just needed to make one more. Right. Yeah. The, the, last, the last time you guys, I mean, Edwin, when you were in the army was five years ago, right? This was for, for NS, as an NSF. Um, yeah. How familiar... You know, was 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 the whole filming process for you in terms of like you know when you were back in the army? Um, totally foreign, like huh? Uh, Why? Experience. Yeah, because um, I've I had like a small injury when I was in uh, NS, so okay. I resulted in myself doing uh storeman work. Uh huh. And it's hilarious because um my f- good buddy in the show Ben Tan, okay. he's a clerk in real life. And we have to go through so much physical stuff for this show. And, oh, wow. you know, I, I told, like, the army personnel on set, like, if this could be counted as part of a reservist or something, <laughs> this is more hardcore than my... Oh, my gosh, it's more like, physical. Like, yeah. Right, right, right. What and, about like, you, Pierre? Later, my real reservist letter came. And I was like, oh, oh you guys have anything so to you do have to this? go back yeah. to back. But they were like, oh, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah. for Pierre, um, um, NS for yeah. you was like uh, How long ago? when you were in NSF, it was like maybe about three years ago, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh thank you. Yes, uh, <laughs> it was. It was that not too far away, uh, <laughs> not too far back that I completed my national service. No, in all honesty, yes, I'm done with my NS liability. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm MR. Okay, so I'm officially done. Oh. I'm officially done with the army. What was Amazing. was when you filmed this? Did did you feel like you know everything was so familiar from when you were serving the army, or was it like wow, this all new, new uniform, SBO, also all new? Yeah, it was, um, I must say, uh, I'm, uh, when I was in the army, I was uh, quite Xiaomon. Wow. So uh, my uh, Xiaomon meaning I was very. <laughs> On the ball. I okay, love how I you have to, be... to explain everything to me because I'm so oblivious to all of this. Okay, guys, we're gonna go on air again in 15 seconds. So stand by. We'll ask you a few more questions, and we will close. We'll ask you guys to uh, promote the show a little bit on uh, air. Okay. 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 Hold on. It's Lil Nas X. 
Billy the Way Cyrus as well. Old Town Road, right here, 987, Singapore's number one hit music station. It's us, Joe and Maya. And we're joined with a cast of, well, two of them from the cast of When Duty Calls 2. That's right. Edwin Go and Pierre Pong is right here on our Facebook Live. If you head to facebook.com slash 987, you will find us chatting with them right now. Edwin and Pierre, hello. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> Just a heads up, tonight is the first night, uh, of course, first episode for When Duty Calls 2. That's right. Uh, Channel 8, 9 p.m. That's I can't right. wait to actually watch this, especially, you know, for, for us boys, right? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, when, when I, whenever I watch like a like an NS show or something mm. or like an army show, it just gives me that that reminiscent, that you know. nostalgic feeling. Yeah, yeah. feeling of, of wanting yeah. to compare with what I see on TV as to what I went through. So if you had army. a chance to go back, mm. would you do it all over again? I would. Oh, okay. No, no, for reals, um, I actually had, you know, in terms of friendship, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. The army boys until today are my very good friends. Oh, I've heard you make lifelong yeah. friendships there. And I'm sure Edwin and Pierre, you also make lifelong friendships on the cast as well, right? Whilst you're filming. Yeah, I... And I think uh, your NS days are kind of depicted by the instructors that you have. You know, you have uh, good instructors who who actually take on the role of mentoring you uh, instead of instilling fear and kind of like uh, making you, uh, like like they say, the army is, uh, a good army will be one that they respect the person instead of respecting the rank. Right. You know? mm, mm, very, very true. So you, if you have instructors that will teach you lifelong lessons, um, good. But if you have instructors that make your life difficult and and try to uh, uh, teach you a lesson by instilling fear, that is something you don't want to uh, adhere to or maybe bring into your own family. Right, oh right. Edwin is a little bit frozen on uh, on uh, Zoom. <laughs> sorry, on, on, on Facebook, Facebook Live, Live right now. <laughs> you, we can hear you, yes, but your video is a little bit frozen. <laughs> Edwin, you ah. can hear us, right? Yes, I can. Okay, um, how different is is you know your character on on this show compared to you know your real life national service? Well, I think um, <laughs> national service. If I could do it again, you know, mm. I would wish to take a different route. You know, maybe like mm. do something different. You know, but you know, it's a mm. process, and you do. I think. It's, yeah. It's a it's process a and sometimes, you know, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, for it, sure. In fact, every time, you know, when you talk to a different person, right? Yeah. Like like someone who, who's been through the army, they will always tell you a different experience. Really? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. So even in like different vocations, they will still tell you like... Well, everything's different, right? Different everything's vo- different. Yeah. Like even if yeah. you're in the same vocation, they'll tell you a different experience too. That's so cute. Yeah, I yeah. kind of want to go now. Can women go of to course. the army? Can we? Yes. Yeah. You can sign up, oh. yeah. By, wow. by the way, guys, um, Maya is a physical instructor, yeah? So <laughs> that that doesn't say anything. Though. She can do anything. <laughs> I cannot. We can. I cannot. We cannot also. <laughs> Maybe you, but not them. <laughs> okay, Pierre. Pierre. Uh, you know, yes. I, I've read a lot. Uh, you know, before you know, talking to you guys as well. I heard there's a kissing scene Ooh. for you. How, how is that like? Hey, where is there not a kissing scene when I'm involved? <laughs> You know, Gerald, if they put you and me in the same scene, you you just better pucker up here and get ready. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god! No, but <laughs> honestly, honestly, uh, what what was it like? Because I read a lot about you know that kissing scene. Have you? Why why are you reading about this kissing scene? Gerald? I, I don't know. I don't know. It just came to me. I I think so on Instagram or something. <laughs> anyway, yeah, up here. <laughs> okay, so uh, there are kissing scenes that are just there for the sake of showing romance, then the kissing scenes that really have meaning. Mm. So uh, between me and Kim Ng, uh, she plays the girl that I've been crazy in love with uh, ever since I was a kid. Mm. So in season one, they show uh, the flashbacks of her taking care of me and me just totally being mesmerized by her. So, so in season two, we are married and we decide mm. to have a kid. So if you want to have a kid, together, I guess uh, that would include some kissing scenes that would lead up to uh, how you make babies, right? So... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ken, Ken. I'm acting as okay. I'm acting as that as that, uh, as a <laughs> of yeah. starting a family. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, quick one before we go for a short break. Um, Edwin, tell us why should we be, you know, glued to our screens every night, 9pm, Channel 8 for When Duty Calls 2? 
Well, like besides, like there are so many exciting um, witness us going through. Through there's also a lot mm. of like, like love, like you know, love yeah, and romance. relationship, story with life, family, and, and yeah. yeah, overall, I think it's a really heartwarming show. Stuff Aww. that we can all relate to, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, Pierre. How wonderful. H- how, about, yeah. how about you? Yeah. Why should we be glued to our screens every night, 9 p.m.? Well, okay. Uh, as, as, a, as the show sells itself, it's about the army. It's about what our men and women go through. As, as you know, the army is made out of men and women that are being conscripted and then those that take it as a career. I personally, uh, because I've served two and a half years in the army, I know it takes a special breed of men and women to juggle the responsibilities Mm. of having a family and their duty as a soldier to protect the sovereignty of their country. So if you want to know more about what your brother, your your sister, your mom, or any Singaporean that serves the Singapore Armed Forces does, you have to watch When Duty Calls. Very Amazing. nice. Very nice. Uh, you know what, guys? Edwin as well as Pierre, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to be talking to you guys. And all the best for the show. We will definitely watch it. And uh, uh, anytime, you know, I'll give you all like like live commentary on how I feel about the show on DM, okay? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Do that. Do that. Just remember, okay, Joe? Okay, I will. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Be sure to catch When Duty Calls 2 on Channel 8 at uh, 9 p.m. every single night. 987 Traffic. On the roads right now, if you're driving along the PIE towards Changi Airport over at Lonnie Road Exit, there's heavy traffic. Also, KJE towards PIE, an accident at Sungai Tengah Road Exit. AYE towards Tuas at Normanton Park Exit, heavy traffic. Drive safe. This traffic update is brought... Okay, All right, guys. guys. Hey, thank you so much. Uh. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Hey, thank sorry you, about the uh, connection. Uh, I mean, no problem. This, okay. stream yard, this stream yard is 